Hey guys, back to the channel. The new treasure track is now out, so let's get into the video. Alright, so the Starry Nights treasure track is now out. We also got the update for Lamplight Town. Sadly, I do not have the HUD update for some reason, but let's go ahead and check out the treasure track. I have not looked at any of the rewards yet. Alright, so we can see to start off complete quest to get treasure. We have Saranox, which we knew that would be here. Barbarian, and then the Fire Wyvernling, I think it's called. I'm surprised that we're seeing Barbarian in the Fire Wyvernling. But let's go ahead and check out these rewards to see what we can get. So off the bat, we can get the Fire Wyvernling, which is membership. Sadly, I don't have that right now. We can also get the Dragon Heraldry, and then base track gets 50 gold. Then we can get some physical Wyvernling Morph Marbles, which are a new type of Morph Marble. Um, we also have the Shadow Chicatrice. This is the buddy, which I'm surprised to see inside of this track. Um, we also have the Dragon Horn, which is um, something that was in a special offer for members back when uh shadow drake was a special offer we have some cello morph mar morph marbles which are also a new morph marble some more shadow wyvernling morph marbles we also have the star charm i don't remember seeing this uh one leaked but it definitely probably was it's not too great um we have a house item the gas stove which uh, don't really know why that's here. Uh, we have Fey, I believe this is. Yeah. Uh, we have some Eclipse Trophies, which I was surprised to see are Morph Marbles. It doesn't really feel like that should be a Morph Marble. We have another Fey up here. Some more, uh, Eclipse Trophy Morph Marbles. Um, we have some... Cosmic Works, which go with the theme of Starry Nights. We have a new throwable, which is called the Shadow Ball. Um, it pretty much just looks exactly like the Slime Ball, I think it is. This, the Lock of Shadows, is a new uh, pet relic, I believe it is. And this is a power bonus of 85. We also have another Stello Morph Marble. And uh, the Puppet Strings Cap, heart bonus of 103. Pretty decent. It looks pretty cool. We have some shat or we have some physical wyvernling uh, morph marbles. Uh, some more of the shadow balls. Only three of them, which is kind of surprising. Some more cosmic works. Uh, we have another Fey, which I don't know why they give you like a bunch. We're not trying to merge Fey. Um, then we have the Phoenix Feather Fedora, which is a new hat that pet hat they released um it has a power bonus or a heart bonus of 106 so it's decent we also have the eclipse trophy again as a morph marble uh, i don't know if we're going to actually get that as something but we do have the floating candles which is a house item that you can get inside of the academy which i'm kind of surprised to see that we have another or we have barbarian here which is going to be our first mythic epic we do have a second one later we also get Shadow Puff, which this is an evolution of uh, Shadow Drake, which I think it's called Shadow Heart now. Uh, Shadow Puff is the first evolution in that chain. We have another Fey, another Cellomorph Marble. And then we have the Stained Glass Window, which I don't know why they're giving us Academy House item. That's a little odd. Um, we can also get the Astral Dragonling, which I'm surprised about. We have some more Slime Balls. We have the Fire Wyvern Hat. I think this is probably one of the best hats in the game based off of Heart Bonus. Um, I think the highest you can get is 125. I do think we have one with 126. Um, I don't know which one it is, though. We do have the some more Shadow Balls, another Fey. Um, I think the pet hat that has a bonus of 126 is going to be in Starlight Festival, though. Although, I guess it could probably be in this as well. 
Um, but we do have some more Shadow Balls, we have some more Eclipse Morph Marbles. We have um, the Fire Wyvern Talon with a power bonus of 101. We have some more Eclipse Trophies, some more Cosmic Work Shadow Balls. Um, we have a Spurnu, I think this is for some reason. Um, some more Shadow Balls, Stellomorph, and I think this has a power bonus. Yeah, Heart Bonus of 126. I think the Constellation Bonnet is the best Heart Bonus hat in the game. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Uh, we do have another Fae. Um, here's Serenox over here, but we also have the Dragon Scale, which is has been obtainable before, I believe. We have some more Dragon... Er, what physical wyvernling morph marbles and here is saranox which is probably the best thing that we're getting in this treasure track it looks so cool um but sadly it is for plus members so i'm gonna have to get plus members somehow uh we also i'm, I'm surprised to see this one we have the mini dragon isle power bonus of 60 power bonus of 60 I think it has a dodge um, bonus of 60 and a defense bonus of 60 as well. I'm kind of surprised that we're seeing this one. Um, I guess that could mean that we're going to be seeing the fire dragon coming possibly, since we are getting a pretty decent amount of uh, dragon isle stuff in here. Maybe we see the fire dragon come in September or something, because it's kind of hinting at that this will run through August and September. So we could possibly see some Dragon Isle stuff in September, maybe. And then we finish it off with our second more, er, mount of this treasure track, which is the Star Floater, which isn't great. It has a power bonus of 50, and it just overall doesn't look that cool. But yeah, this seems like it's a pretty nice treasure track. Uh, I think it's probably better than the last treasure track that we got. So that is cool. I do... Actually, I do want to check out the quest to see if anything new was added. Um, are we able to do the bonuses right now? Yes, we are. It doesn't appear that anything is new. I guess become a member probably gives 200 more XP now. Um, nothing really looks different in the bonus section. Normally, they'd make you wait about 30 days to actually get your bonuses, though. Um, none of these look super new yeah none of these are looking new we also have our weeklies which yeah these look like they're about the same as last time and then i assume there are going to be no new dailies complete all daily quests play 10 minutes fight three battles earn 125 pet stars that's down um i don't know if it gives less xp but it was 250. It was a little annoying to get to 250. So it is nice that it's now only 125. I do want to see if in the season track they made it so that you don't have to get a hundred thousand pet XP, because that one was extremely hard to do. I guess it could possibly be in bonuses. Um where would that be or did they just get rid of it yeah i think they got rid of it because it wasn't a very good one and then correctly answer five questions play five times i think this is up from three to five but yeah yeah those seem to be the only changes to the quest and now as you can see lamplight town was updated the bushes got updated the center got updated um I think that the wheels got an update as well, although I'm not 100% sure. The backgrounds definitely did get an update. The lamps did as well. Um, let's go ahead and take a look around to see what everything else looks like. They haven't updated the gnomes or Harvey, although they did update them in the assets. I'll make a video later on some of the leaks that were added. There was some really interesting Starlight Festival stuff that was added to the assets today. So... Maybe I'll post a second video today talking about that stuff. Um, the dragon right here, it no longer has glowing eyes. I think it did used to have some, so that's a little sad. It should still have glowing eyes during festivals, though. 
um, based off of what I saw in the data or assets. Um, these houses down here got updated. Um, up here also got updated as well. So uh, Pallet Pass, I believe it's called, and this place both got updated. Sadly, none of the other areas got updated. Bonfire Spire, which we know will get updated soon, hasn't been updated. Um, this place is a little interesting because they did decide to keep this dinosaur and this uh, book place, even though they're never going to be used. They did get rid of the bounty board, which is a little surprising. It was shown in their... Uh, trailer for this update, but it wasn't added. There definitely is a Billy Foot in there, it looks like. That was something that I thought I had seen. It kind of looks like there is. Uh, these wizards look really nice, as I said in the trailer. I don't think the arena will be updated, because, yeah, it's not. Um, I kind of was expecting it to be, but it wasn't. Uh, so we're probably not going to see anything with the arena. This place looks pretty normal, exactly what you'd expect. They did change this from the gambling looking stuff to now advertising the dancing, because that's what it's actually supposed to be used for. Um, I don't know if there's going to be anything down here. I guess we could see if there was a Billy Foot over here. And it doesn't look like there are, so the one Billy Foot inside of Lamplight Town is gone which is pretty interesting i wonder if they're going to add that back or if they're going to update what billy foot looks like i don't know if they've had any billy foots with updated looks um we also have the pet shop which looks pretty nice this fountain looks pretty nice as well um for some reason these buddies over here are uh still acting like they're kind of pixelated in a way they're kind of like not moving smoothly, which is a little weird. And then heading down into Pallet Pass, this place was updated as well. So this is what it looks like now. As I said, um, Bonfire Spire was not updated. I haven't gotten to that part in the assets to see if it has been updated in there. But in-game, it was not updated, so that's a little surprising. We could see that within the coming days, though. So yeah, that is going to go ahead and end the video. Let me know what you guys think of this Starlight Festival. I think that it's really good. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and bye.